let's talk a little bit about selection, right? Um, so basically, if you look on the left hand side, this is like a tool panel. I think you have something similar in Maya. So if we look at the top item, the top items just um, to select like the individual item. So if I go into edit mode by tapping the tab key, right, I would use this particular select box item to select individual items. I can make a marquee selection. Um, so if I go into face mode, for example, face mode is up here, right? Uh, the keyboard shortcut is three. So one selects the vertices, two selects the edges, and three selects the faces. And if you hit tab again, you just come back to object mode. So let's pop into the face mode. So I'll hit tab three. So left clicking selects a face, right? Holding shift and clicking adds to the selection. And unlike Max, uh, where you'd use control in Blender, you use shift. And to deselect from a selection, you hold shift and you click on a face and it deselects it. So in 3ds Max, you do the same thing with the Alt key. Like if you wanted to take away from a selection, you hit the Alt key. Um, you also have a paint select type of feature here, which is this guy here, select circle. So if I hit tab one, right? So if we go into tab and then hit one to go into vertex mode, I can just kind of, I don't need to hold shift when I'm doing this. I'm just, you know, moving my cursor and it's selecting these guys. If I don't lift my hand off, it selects these guys. And obviously uh, with this, what you can do is you can hold shift and you can select the rest of the faces. So it's it's like a paint select. In Maya, <coughs> you have the paint select tool, which, which does the same thing. Another thing with the selection is the fact that when you are in shaded mode, um, the faces that you can't see are not selected. That's called, uh, I think it's called back face culling. So if I go into face mode, face mode, once again, the shortcut is three. Uh, it's important to learn the shortcuts in Blender uh, because they get used a lot. If you watch any tutorials, people will use um, a hell of a lot of shortcuts. So, so I'm in uh, face mode and, I'm, and I've got the circular selection tool. So if I come here and I do that, what you'll notice is that it hasn't selected the back faces, right? So if I want to select the back faces, if I want to do a selection and select the back faces, I click up here to go into wireframe mode and then it selects the back faces as you can see there. Um, so you've got these modes up here, right? So that's um, your wireframe, that's your solid, uh, that's sort of, you know, if you assign materials, we haven't got materials on this, uh, and this is a rendered view, right? So it, it does an OpenGL render um, to do that. Uh, so that basically covers selection.